Here we are. Toilets are us. Are you guys messing with me? Nope, that's it. Fucking bulls. What? Never mind. Why? Because this location's bullshit? <laughs> Surely there are plenty of useful resources here. At least good for trading. There better be. Let's start. I'm in front of the store. Here I go. Door is locked. You remember how to use the lock picking kit? Vaguely. I'll help you out. All right, A plus. My first whiff. God, you're moving like a lunatic. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> we got it, eventually. Done. Let's see. Alright, these are actually useful. Protection? <laughs> Alright. And a little something if the previous items fail. Oh my god. Alright. Ooh. We want to hold- if I, if I get the choice, I want to hold on to these and get rid of those, because these... Hmm. I guess you actually want them both, don't you, strategically? I want these items because I can use those on a her. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, I can hand those to her and she'll think they're more valuable. So that, that gives me a better split. Whereas I want her to hold these, hold on to these because I can get them in their larger value for me compared to the trade. The, the two currency systems makes the whole system really interesting, actually. And some more? The question is whether they'll make it any- whether, whether they'll ever do anything with it or not. I'm just gonna keep grabbing everything until we actually run out of space. This is too easy. I know. I mean, do you really think we're, she'll give us our percentage of the loot? Why wouldn't she? We're not doing anything for her. Why would- uh, what would keep her from dodging out- uh, dodging us on the way out? We drove her here. Yeah, big deal. We showed her a toilet goods store. She also thinks we're from the guild. What do you think? She'll risk getting a bad reputation with the guild? Based on her attitude? I'm not sure she completely bought this little scheme. She does have an attitude, I'll give you that. So what are you suggesting? Let's say she avoids the zombie because of our help. Then she would feel like we were valuable. And won't just walk away with all the loot. Where do we get a zombie? From our wild imagination. Oh boy, we fake a zombie? Something like that. Not bad, Larry. I can see you're finally learning something from me. Hey, don't take me away my credit like that. Jeez, chill. Uh, Krista, we got a bit of a situation. Yeah, what is it? Have you killed zombies before? Not yet. Well, then you better hide and get real quiet. You see a zombie? Get away from the window. All right. Oh, so what is it? A zombie? It's not... Jesus. There's a whole... Okay, that's that's massive over exaggeration. Yeah, they would... They would hear that coming. Actually, a dozen of them. A dozen? Yeah, good thing you have to... You have us to warn you, huh? What the fuck should I do? I'm gonna get eaten alive. For starters, get away from the window. You've got to hide. Okay. Is this good? Can you see outside? No. Then it's good. <laughs> this is a game about emotion, about manipulating people in deadly situations, and it's all like pastel, cute animals, and it's like it's this is the best tonal jarring problem. Just stay there. All right. Are they gone? No, a few of them are still wandering around. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're just gonna layer it onto her. Okay, I think they're gone now. You sure? Yep. Good. I'm not quite ready to be a zombie's dinner. Well, it's noon, but... Ye well, it's noon, but yeah. Anything else for looting? Yeah, one more shelf. Ooh. Wet wipes. 
So a bunch of wet wipes, lots of tampons. I wonder if it's specifically gendered. I wonder if her gender affects the prices. Because you can, there's some things that really spike in value here. Oh, wait. Dude, there's another aisle around the corner that I completely missed. There's toilet paper. Head over there. Kind of seems out of your line of sight, though. After that last zombie scare, I don't really want to be where they, you can't see me. Oh, God. Well, we'll listen for zombie-like sounds. Ha ha. No, really. These are high-tech army walkie-talkies. If we increase the volume, we can detect anything. What if it's not making any sounds right now? They always make sounds. I don't know about that. You know what? I'm not going over there. We kept you safe so far. We know what we're doing. Hmm, I guess you do. Alright, fine. And then she dies immediately. Oh, right. Uh, WASD. <laughs> so I can grab you guys uh, a few one-ply. Are the ones with the bears okay? One-ply. Is that really as good as you can do? Jeez, you must really pamper your ass. Let me go further down the aisle. And then she dies. Ah! Zomb- Zombie? Z zombie? I think it's- It's half a zombie. A zebra with no legs. Ah, it's still moving though. Krista, are you making this up? What is wrong with you? What kind of deranged animals would make up a zombie? Yeah, yeah, ha 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 ha. Yeah, but listen. There, there can't be a zombie without legs. It would die. Unless it just lost its leg a moment ago. It didn't have time to bleed out yet. Who cares? I'm telling you, it's a fucking zebra with no legs. Well, maybe it's a uh, amputee? Like before it was a zombie? Wait, did zombies bleed out in this universe? So what? Are we supposed to abandon all science, logic, and reason? Because it's a freaking zombie apocalypse? Jeez. Okay, let me analyze the fucking thing. I think... I think it's just a handicapped zombie. Oh, I guessed it. You mean it was handicapped before it became a zombie? Yes, probably. Can we move on? Well, that I can buy. We wouldn't want to violate our... the cartoon character's suspension of disbelief. <laughs> okay, Krista. If it doesn't have any legs, then it can't get to you. And don't even need to go... You don't even need to go near it. Well, it's near the two-ply toilet paper. Damn it. Better just settle for the few one-ply. Okay, then. So it's, it's gonna give us higher value stuff, which I don't know. These are only worth one. Maybe the other ones are worth more. But let's not push it too much. It'll have to do. I'm coming back. Okay. You did great. Here's your part of the loot. So she's taking 65%, but I can dive into the stuff that's like high value for the guild, but not for her, which helps a lot. Is that the only thing that's higher value for the guild? The ratios are here are bad. All right, grab the toilet paper. Oh wait, I was misreading that. Yeah, so all the toilet paper is better for me. I can still take more. I think the wet wipes are the best ratio. The guild value is two thirds of the of her value, whereas this, this is sixty percent, which is less than two thirds. I think that's also less. I need to lose three. I guess the toilet paper. There we go. That should work. I hope. Groovy. I really hope I, ex I can exchange some of the stuff at the camp. Sure you can. See you around. Wait, we just we just leave here. Oh wait. 
So where is the scavengers guild? Oh, that thing. <laughs> I'll try joining after you guys tell me them about me. Location? Yes. It's, uh, it's at... Oh, Jesus. Just gonna go for a guess and see what happens. It's kind of messed up, actually. It's at, a uh, Luscious Joe's Hostel. Isn't that the place with the prostitutes? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Used to be. Hmm. Are you guys really from the guild? Of course we are. I just have a hard time believing that's the location. Well, I didn't choose it. Yeah, alright, I'll, I'll be seeing you around. See you at the guild. There's nothing else left around here, according to the map. We should hit the road and get to the other side of the town. Sure, let's go. Oh, right back to playground. What about the other place that was here a moment ago that disappeared? I thought there was two choices. So, alright, playground. I guess we found our niche in the zombie apocalypse. Well, to be frank, this is my niche. You're more of a sidekick. What? I'm an essential part of this scheme. And you know, I'm a salesman too. Yeah, you're a failed drug dealer. You're a failed drug user. Plus, I sold merch too. And those walkie-talkies who are using to run this little operation? All right, all right. You're very important. Do you want a treat? Jeez. You really are just Jesse Pinkman, aren't you? Anyway, according to this map, there's one more camp. And two more scavenging places in the west side of town. This is going to be a long trip. So we have time for another one of my lessons. This one's called Hank's Slip. Hmm? That sounds familiar. Here it goes. If you ask enough questions and let people talk about themselves, they will subconsciously slip the information on how to sell them whatever you're selling. That's not Hank's Slip, that's a Freudian Slip ripoff. No, this is Hank's Slip, an original. Yeah, I can see now that all your notes are just stolen from others. Instead of overanalyzing, let's see how we can use this. The main takeaway here is that we should ask more questions and gather useful information before rushing to close the deal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry, see that up ahead? Is that some kid? Yeah. I bet he can scavenge for us. Nah, we're not gonna get some kid to scavenge for us. Why not? What's the matter with you? He's just a kid. So what? We'll be helping him. I don't see it that way. How do you use it? How do you see it? They get hats to scavenge for food somehow. Well, yeah, but... So why not help him out? I don't know, dude. It's way safer if he has somebody watching his back. Well, I guess. You know what? Fine, but we're letting him keep most of the loot. We need to eat too, you know. Okay, but let's keep... Wow, these are really small numbers, actually. Only 20%. Let's talk with him first and see what's up. Hey, kid. What's the matter? You want some can- Oh, no, that's the wrong thing to say. Also, that's a way smaller kid than I thought it was. How is a kid going around... ...on a tricycle in the zombie apocalypse and that's just working out for him? Okay. You want some candy? Hank, what are you doing? You make us sound like some fucking perverts. I mean, we can help you if you help us. You know what I mean. That's not better at all. Don't worry, we're not child molesters. <laughs> hey, for fuck's sake, just let me talk. What? Why? Hey, little buddy. It's okay. You're safe with us. We would like to. I didn't know it was going to be an actual child. I, I, I assumed kid was like teenager at the very least. Jesus. We're going to help you get some food. What do you say? <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, give me everything you fucking got in that fucking truck, shitheads. Or I'll blow your fucking heads off. Good work, Larry. He's got a freaking gun! Guns are not toys. Well, I sure ain't playing with it. Get out of the truck and give me your shit. Look, kid, we just want to help you. 
Do I look like I need help, you pervs? We are not. It's just that Hank can't talk with kids. This is your last chance, whores. Oh my god. Alright. Seriously, what's with the language? I'll count to three, and if I don't see some sweet stuff, I'll blast your faces off. Kid, this ain't... One. Can we just talk about two? Is three inclusive or exclusive? I don't know what that means. I'm seven. <laughs> I thought he was... Pretending to be a child, like in, like in, uh, uh, Zootopia. I was like, what's that movie called? I had to look up, I had to look for it. Here comes three. Look, kid. We do not negotiate with terrorists. Three, what's gonna happen? No, I'm taking a stand. Is it a fake gun? You're not gonna shoot? No, I was just playing. You mean bluffing? I don't know what that means. I told you I'm fucking seven. Goodbye. Can you believe this motherfucker? That's one righteous kid. Uh... Okay. <laughs> turns out if you just take a stand, things work, to work out apparently. Looks like we arrived in the bad part of town where the seven-year-olds mug you. We arrived on the west side? Yeah. This camp should be really close by. Need to look at your map to see if you're in the west side of town or not? Don't you already know your town? You live here. Oh shit. What? Well, um... The camp is at a playground. So... So you're afraid we'll run to that kid again? I don't know. He might be playing there. Oh shit. Here we are. Well, maybe he'll just... I mean, he didn't... We, we got off scot-free last time. Oh my god. They're just all children. Lizard? Or frog? No, lizard, I think. Cat. Beaver? Look at the fucking chain and... Look at, look at Mr. Chain and fucking leather jacket. Ah, uh, what's happening here? I want to try convincing this one. Suit yourself. Hey there, fellow. How are... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, dog. I promise it's better than eating flies at the, here at this camp. There's nothing better than eating flies here. Suit yourself. What do you want? How would you like to join this, us in scavenging? What part did you not understand, dog? Sorry, he has ADHD and really can't focus. He's gonna have it too, isn't he? And that's gonna be the, the toe we step on today. How do you feel about trading? Trading is good. Tell me what you got. Oh boy, our inventory has gotten a little crowded. Okay. Is there anything? Yeah, that, that's one thing he really values apparently, is that wine. Yeah, the numbers go all over the place. I should see what is good for the guild. Ooh, the carrots are good for the guild. All right. Risk. A world domination board game. Just That's just explicitly a copy of Risk. Oh yeah, first aid kits are good. Okay, and their tunas are also very good. And what do you disproportionately like compared to the guild? The wine's not a bad call. There we go. That's probably the way to go. So our value has stayed equal, which is how this works, but I have made a gain for the guild, which we were totally, hopefully going to actually meet. Good stuff. Very good, see you around. Wait, Hank. What? Are we really going to ask a fuck- a freaking wombat? Why not? I mean, just look at him. Yeah, I know what you mean. But what's the harm? Let's just talk with him. Ah, alright. Hey, the little guy. How's... You wanna be friends? How about becoming scavenging friends? 
You see, we have this deal that we offer to only some... I'll do it. What? I'll do it. Let's go scavenging. Okay, but first, here's how it works. One of us scavenges, and the other one's the lookouts. What do I get to do? You, my friend, get to do the... The fun part. Scavenging? You got it, buddy. Yay! Okay, okay. Good then. And we'll let you keep... 20% of the loot. I get to keep all that? Yeah, sure. Wow, sign me up. Welcome aboard. Hank, just a moment. What the actual fuck's going on here? I've just made a deal. Nothing about this seems off to you. Relax, it's all under control. Okay, buddy, let's go. What? That's a face, that's a word. What? Wamba bomba wombat. What? What? Um, dude? He's a wombat. Wamba bomb whatever is what they yell when they're happy. Apparently, that's just a thing we're making up about wombats, which don't speak. Uh, uh, buddy, give us a moment to talk with the other animals here. Yes. Uh, he's horrifying. I can't wait to see how that where that goes. She looks feisty. That mangy looking thing? Let's not be racial, Larry. You are telling me. It's about time we get something with someone with nine lives to help us out. I wouldn't mind accidentally wasting her a few. Hey, lady. Can I help you boys? How long have you been here? About a month. I'm sick and tired of vagabonding. So I'm sticking to this place for a while. So listen, we are professional scavenger guides. And we would like to give you an opportunity to work with us. Scavenge is more of a dog business. Why do you have to go out of your way to offend me? I'm standing here, being more than polite. Don't play naive. You've been giving me that dirty dog look this whole time. That's because you've been giving me your insulting cat look. What looks? Are you too mad? Just get him a leash. He's a menace to society. There is no society, a dumb mouser. How dare you? That's like accusing me of being a Nazi because I'm German. I don't care about any of this. So you won't scavenge? Okay. Do you want to trade? I don't trade. But I do gamble. Interested? Is it a game of dice? Of course. But first you have to tie that dog to a tree. I don't trust him. That's it. One more offense and you're going down. Oh yeah? One black eye is not enough for you, puppy? Just fucking stop it. I'm warning you. Down, doggy. Sit. Play dead. Oh my god, this it keeps going. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's it. Get up, I'm kicking your ass. I'd like to see you try. Bring it on. Show me what you got, you filthy mutt. Alright. Would you look at that? What? Hello? We have a fight here. Big deal. This is our third today. What's her deal? I don't know. She likes to fight. What the hell? You fight dirty. You've got to fight dirty when you... F Wait. Oh, you got to fight dirty when you fight dirt. Go to hell. You only won because I restrained myself from biting. Fuck this shit. So you're still up for some gambling? He's got two... He's got two purple eyes now. Oh... Jesus. Someone's having a great day. It gave me the achievement for getting the Ozzy Osbourne look. <laughs> yeah, just tell me the rules first. Sure. We both have three dice. We each throw a dice at the same time. Whoever gets a higher sum wins. But if anyone gets a sum higher than ten, they lose. You can throw or hold the dice. 
Classic dice game. Are you ready? Yes. Let's start then. Show me the items you want to wager. Minimum wage of one. Let's start easy. Actually, don't, do I have any low value stuff left in my inventory at this point? I'm always trading for relatively valuable things. A lot of this stuff is good for the guild specifically. The cigarettes aren't great apparently. Or at least she values them higher. Even higher than the guild. Hmm. Could go that way. Alright. So... Throw dice or hold dice? Throw dice? So if you get over 10, you lose. Ooh. There we go. He passed 10. Cool. Wow, look at you. Here your items back. Okay. Do I also get something? Now choose your winnings. So I can go up by three. Okay, I get it now. So you gamble a set amount of items. If you lose, you lose all those items. But if you win, then you get to take a number of items equal to the value of what you got rid of. Although I'm, I'm a little, kind of in trouble here because I only gambled three. So I don't, let's see. I guess, yeah, they have cigarette packs, so they, they match what I had. Ooh, box of tea is better. But yeah, you have to do way, go way higher if I want to be able to improve, but box of tea and nasal spray, that's only worth three to them, but it's worth six to me. Or the guild. Uh, eh, that's a net gain. Want to try again? Nah. Okay, see you later. He doesn't seem psyched right now. You alright, buddy? No, he, he's sulking. We're gonna... Let's go with Psycho Wombat. Scavenging. Yeah, let's go. Where to? There's only one place nearby. A bookstore. Wamba Wamba, 